good morning guys welcome back to the mountain well we are back out here again working on the tiny house but today we're going to be doing quite a few different things today mike is going to start milling a little switcheroo yep so we have to get uber fired up we got to get the bucket off of here and get the grapple on here the plan is to use some of these longer logs that we got and cut them to 18 foot that way we can at least get three six foot pieces or two nine foot pieces or something like that i think that roof's about eight something so uh it should make it to where we can get two boards out of every cut which should speed up producing enough lumber for the tiny house and the new walls that are going in the cabin it is starting to sprinkle a little bit not supposed to rain today it says zero percent chance good job weatherman and we got the supervisor out here making sure that we get going safe this morning uh, not a lot of talking this morning guys let's get at it let's go
Well, I'm thinking this right here is probably going to make some nice lumber. I hope so. We need it. We ought to get a few good boards out of this one. Oh, yeah. So basically, for the boards that are going up underneath, we're going to basically do a square cut and then just start chopping. It doesn't have to be exactly square. But I would just it. come to like right here and then like right here. Okay. It doesn't matter if it has a little bit right there because that's going to be covered by the other board okay. as well i just want somewhat of a square line to be able to keep everything level but we don't want to waste too much boards trying to get down to that point so. right all right let's get it on the mill you let's ready do it All right, now that we got Mike going on the sawmill, we're gonna go ahead and install the doorknob. If you've seen on my last video, I picked up these knobs right here. Got more of a bronze type finish. I think that'll go with the burnt look on the outside a little better. Let's go ahead and get these installed and then we'll start ripping off the siding for that area right there so we can put some more plastic up so we can get the insulation in there. Just like that, one down. That is a nice tight fit too. Cool, one more. I had to do a little bit of chiseling, just a little bit, about a quarter of an inch to make it all nice and smooth, but not too bad. All right, let's get the pump house door on. And another one down. Boom. Nice tight fit. All the way. Looks good, looks good. All right, now that we got the door knobs on, we're gonna go ahead and pull this siding off the building. That way we can put more house wrap on here so we can put the insulation up. All right, guys, we got the wrap on there. Turned out good, looks good. The scrap pile, not gonna lie, hurt my heart a little bit tearing all that off after all the work that we put putting it up there. But it'll look better whenever it's done with some nice planks all the way across instead of having two short ones and a two seams on there. 
being that I'm closing in this door, it was the smarter option. But that right there, I keep the weather out and I can go ahead and put the insulation behind there uh, and keep the inside of this room going. We are definitely making some progress. Whew. And that is what it looks like from the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and get this room cleared out a little bit. It's a little bit messy. I'm gonna go ahead and put this insulation back up in here. I do need to add a little bit of framing for the decorative tiles that we're gonna put up over the door to kind of hold all of that in. And then go ahead and put this breathable underlayment back up there. Ooh, there's a million and one little punch list things that's got to happen. <sighs> but let's get at it. Well, you would not believe where I'm at, guys. Yep, that's right. Back at Lowe's. Houston, we have a problem. A big, 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 big problem. See, what happened was we had full intentions on milling all the siding and stuff for the inside of the uh, tiny house and also for the walls inside the cabin. The sawmill broke again today, guys. Same problem that it had before. Uh, the fix that the machine shop did did not hold up. There's only been about three logs milled on that since they fixed it. And I don't have time for a broke down saw right now, so we are switching to drywall. Yeah, I said it, drywall. Nobody likes drywall. This guy definitely doesn't like drywall. But hey, you know what? When you get hit with a problem, you gotta make it happen. And of course, I got my co-pilot with me. You already know can't believe you just told all the people you didn't like drywall when the whole ride here you were telling me how excited you were to start this drywall project <laughs> yeah he don't lie often but he just told one <laughs> yeah this ain't good guys definitely gonna be a lot more money but i try to find the positive uh lining and everything this will speed the project up a lot to keep us from having to mill all right guys let's see what they're gonna tax us with How many corners we got in our house? Uh, there'd be one at the closet, one other over there at the end. So you got one, two, three, four, five, five for the tiny house. For the bedroom part. For the whole tiny house. Got. It. You don't have to put one in the corner like that. Oh, okay. To do the corners. Okay. Here. Okay. I do got all those one by fours for the one project. Uh, Rip them down, okay. bring them together. Instant okay. beautification. Okay. Nine of them. Nine of them. Nine of them. Look at our cart, guys. Missing a whole. It's custom. Custom designs. I've never used any of any of this tape. I've never used tape before. You've never used tape at all? Not on drywall. What? You ain't had a cracking? Never. Wow. You didn't stay long enough. Yeah. <laughs> I told you I've only done drywall like five, six times. Well, you're gonna learn today. I mean, I can't help it that the times I did it, I did it so great. I didn't even need tape. Mm -hmm. That's that custom texture I was telling you about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll see how that works out. <laughs> Go and get three of these. And I like to use as wide as knife as possible. Mm. Makes it a whole lot easier to feather that in. Okay. So do this but it is nice to have be able to get get up in there a little closer a little huh? putty knife for your corners mainly, right because you can kind of go this way you know? like i don't use them when the corners come in like that some people will use corner b turn it around the opposite way go up into it like yeah that. and then you can i don't do that i typically mud it and i take the tape and split it in the center and just tape it and it typically works i'm actually a fan of this but it does take a whole lot more mud, uh, to, mud to put to, in there to get rid of your little lump. I've actually used some fiber tape like this right here, uh, doing air conditioning work. Nice. 
What about old bucket scoop? Yeah. A bucket scoop. <laughs> and I never buy the plastic ones of these. If you get these and you clean them out, these are handy for all kinds of different projects. Right. And somehow I feel like there's going to be more drywall in my future. And some people do buy the corner ones. I bought one when I did Jacob's bedroom in Bronson. It never worked that great. For I me. out of out of the out of the three corners that I drywalled, it worked great for one corner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Little jab saw. We're gonna have two hundred dollars just in buying tools because I have no tools. Yeah. Not want that hard stuff and then Look, feather it out. That fine tuning. We are not gonna buy the pole because we are gonna use the broom at home. <laughs> oh yep, we already got a pole. Now we're gonna need some mud. So after much deliberating back and forth, we've made a decision. Yep. I don't think we're gonna go with the quick set because we got so many different areas we gotta work in. If we drywall one area, put the first coat on and then move on with the framing and hanging and all that, by the time we get another section done, that section should be dry. So we're just gonna get a bucket or two or mud and call it a day. Curl them, curl them. Nope. <laughs> I don't need to throw my back out before the project even starts. Man. All right, so we got this, we got that, we got that, we got a razor knife. I've already got a whole bucket of drywall screws. What about a uh, paint and primer? Paint and primer. That's the next step. drywall and I want a primer paint mixture to make it as easy as and fast as possible. Okay. Alright, while we're in this section we're going to need to get something because if we're going to break out the sprayer we're going to need some painter's tape. Oh good call. They say re real painters don't use tape. I guarantee you they do if they spray. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll never claim to be a real painter. Ever. <laughs> ever, 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 ever. Because about the only thing I hate worse than drywall is painting. <laughs> <laughs> I heard good stuff about that frog cape. Yeah. Yep, and if I wanted some nice crisp lines, mm. like I was doing some kind of design, you know, like a shamrock or something yeah. like that or whatever. Um, I would use a higher end. But being that we're just taping plastic down to a window and a floor. True. I give me the generic. Dollar seventeen. I want that. I like that. If this goes bad, it won't hurt my feelings this bad. What about any ins inserts for the trays? Yeah, we'll probably need, need a couple of those, although we're not gonna we're not gonna use a lot of them because we're gonna be spraying. Oh but true. We will inside the cabin. True. We got our drywall supplies. We got our drywall supplies, our paint supplies. Using wood, masonry, concrete, sheet metal, and plastic. What? It caught my eye. I ain't seen one like that yet. What? Oh, I've also never seen such a screw. And eleven dollars a box. I mean, they better be pretty awesome. All right, I think that's about it. Besides a whole bundle of drywall, I don't even want to know what this is about to cost. I think we took a guess and we guessed what seven hundred. Yeah, but we've added a couple of things, including a hundred and twenty dollar thing to paint. I'm gonna say eight twenty five. I'm gonna say nine oh one. Oh, we'll see. All right, guys, we're at the checkout right now. We're going to go ahead and have them add all this stuff up. And we're going to see which one was closer on the price. Myself, $825. Uncle David, he says 901 Why don't you guys go ahead and drop it in the comments. How much money do you think all this is going to cost? 
right here in this plus one of those big pallets up there of drywall let us know guys we'll give you a minute okay guys they haven't added up the bundle or the pallet of the drywall yet and we're already sitting at $330 is it half inch So now they're gonna go ahead and check out and see how much the drywall is gonna be. My guess was around 500 bucks uh, for the drywall itself. So it, Uncle David might be closer, but he might have went over. Let's check it out. Drum roll, please. Here she goes. She's about to make it. Ooh. All right, guys, that's for one piece at the 1368. But if you buy a pallet, you get a discount, save $75, so here we go. Did it drop the price to 11 something? It did. Oh. Ooh, is that, that's tax included? That will be tax included. $785.98. I was right, guys. We got out of there a little bit cheaper than what Uncle David thought. A little bit cheaper than what I thought, too. Go ahead, this is a... This is his favorite part, guys. We're gonna go ahead and take all of his money. Oh, I thought you were gonna back on all the way. Oh, oh, I got you. Okay, okay. We're gonna have to clean out the truck. Alright guys, it's the next day. Made it back. I got the supervisor on the job. I've already moved out the corrugated plastic because I also decided to go ahead and do the drywall and the ceiling. Being that I'm already drywalling the walls. Just makes more sense. I'll end up trimming it out with cedar or something eventually and kind of give it that cabin feel that I want. It is what it is. But we're going to go ahead and get the rest of the insulation done. Go ahead and get those four packs done get everything ready to drywall that way whenever we start we're just drywalling we got to get this insulation right here back in this area go ahead and put rock wool on the walls there and then finish the roof insulation in there <sighs> it's gonna be an itchy 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 day but we're gonna make it happen ain't no need crying about it it is what it is now it's just time to get it done so let's get after it All right, guys, what y'all see me working on is uh, coming up with a solution for the problem that I had in the last video. So basically, I did an upside down foyer because I don't have the space in between here, really, for drywall. But it turned out pretty good. Instead of it looking like a mistake, now it's going to look like a feature. Once I bring the drywall up here and overlap it right there, but it should frame it out and give it a nice aesthetic look. A little something different. I actually like the way it turned out. I got Mike over here doing insulation in this last little section right here. And then we're going to be ready for drywall in the bedroom part, guys. We are getting close. All right, guys, we are officially insulated. Mike got the old doorway insulated up. We are insulated all the way through. 
we got the fix for the door done turned out pretty good and now it is time to get to doing drywall we are going to start on the ceiling right here start on this way come around cut around this Go ahead and get most of our cut pieces done first and then come all the way across the ceiling. All the way into the bathroom. We'll get all the ceiling up first, then we'll do the walls. But we're gonna do that on the next video, guys. This has been a pretty long one. It's been a long two days. <sighs> it's time to regroup. But until we see each other again, guys, come on, let's go on another adventure.